SEALs who carried out the Bin Laden mission are now back in the U.S. this morning. And new pictures from the raid on that compound show the wreckage of a helicopter that crash landed uh, during the assault. It could be our first look at, look at that tail there, look, a new kind of military aviation technology. The aviation buffs have a magnifying glass right. and they're going Saying, over these pictures. This? They see something new here. Well, we've got one of them. Bill Sweetman is an expert in that area. He's the editor-in-chief of Aviation Week's Defense Technology International, joins us from Washington. Bill, uh, thanks for joining us. Let, let's you and, and all of us together take a look at what we've got. I want to show you the tail section of uh, the Blackhawks that we know about right now. Uh, just take a look at the right side. That's what the tail section looks like. It's a bit of a disc and it's four rotors. Now let's take a look at the tail section of the, the thing mm. that was found there. Now I was looking at this very closely, as I know you have, Bill, and it appears that there are six blades or there may have been six blades on this thing. Let's start here. What is this helicopter? Well, well, what it looks like to me is that it's a, it's a modified version of a Black Hawk. It's about the right size, um, but that it's been uh, modified uh, for stealth purposes. For stealth uh, purposes, but for, to keep it quiet, most importantly here. This is less about radar, maybe, and more about keeping it very, very quiet, which would be a real advantage in places like Pakistan and Afghanistan, where you want our guys to get in and out quickly and quietly. Exactly. When you've been, you know, anytime you're out in the open, um, and there's a helicopter around, the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to see that, hear that helicopter, um, even, if it's, even if it's behind a hill or behind a line of trees. So uh, when you're talking about helicopter stealth, the first thing you're thinking about is, is reducing noise, um, making it quieter, um, and making the noise less obtrusive. Um, you take that, uh, that sort of chop-chop sound out of, the, uh, out of the helicopter's noise signature, because that way it's more likely to blend into any background noise that there is. And Bill, just to be clear, while we're looking at these pictures, I said that on the one that uh, has been downed, uh, there are six blades. Obviously, anybody looking at it can only see three blades, but it looks like there are spaces for, for six blades. Let's put it that way. Clearly, uh, the Navy SEALs uh, made some attempt to destroy as much of this as possible, but there's a piece of it that hasn't been destroyed. What's the danger of that? Well, and, and the reason it wasn't destroyed looks pretty clear. It seems that uh, part of the helicopter came down um, inside the compound, but as it did, it struck the compound wall and seems to have broken the tail off. Um, uh, the, I don't think there's a tremendous amount of danger in that. I, I think that um, stealth technology itself has been around for a long time. Um, this certainly isn't in terms of... Uh, anti-radar technology, this is not going to represent the cutting edge of what can be done today. Um, and in terms of noise reduction, it's been pretty well known what you need to do to a helicopter to make it quiet. In fact, uh, I think more than a decade ago, there was a company mm -hmm. uh, flight testing a modified helicopter that was quiet. Mm -hmm just for touring flights over the Grand Canyon. But Bill, this is something new, right? I mean, a lot of people are looking at this and saying, we haven't seen this, we didn't know we, didn't know we had this. Um, it kind of is a, a, mm -hmm. an exciting fingerprint, if you will, of this entire raid. And Ali was just pointing out that you have children in the neighbor area mm -hmm. who are taking away little pieces of things they're finding from around there. From an intelligence perspective, um, is it, it's not the kind of thing we want foreign governments to have in their hands. Well, put it this way, it's a, it's a sort of capability that is, that, it's, it's most useful when nobody believes or suspects you have it. Um, but the moment you decide to use it in an operation like this, you're accepting the risk that it'll be compromised. Um, at the moment, yeah, we still have the capability. Uh, people know that the U.S. has that capability. Uh, what they don't know and uh, can't really tell from what they've got there is just how good it is. All right. Um, yeah. Bill Sweetman, we've got to leave it there, Editor-in-Chief of Defense Technology International. Uh, thanks for bringing us that. There's also been some talk about the paint, maybe something new and exciting about the paint as well. So uh, clearly the aviation buffs are, are, are pouring over those pictures looking for new details about something they didn't quite know we had.